heart. So praise the Lord, and God knows I mean that. We'll say a word of prayer. Sister Moon, this word of prayer, if you would, please. Oh, yes. So, Father God, we bind up the devil this morning, Lord. Thank the Lord. My God, we do all hindering spirits, Lord. Father God, give Brother Moon free course. Dear God, to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, Lord. Father God, we are not here out of a form or fashion, dear God. Father God, we are here to hear what thus saith the Lord. So, Father, let us be attentive. Remove all distractions this morning, Lord. For God, you are worthy. In Jesus' name we do pray. Yes. Amen. Good ones, I want to do something a little different this morning. You know, I don't preach long anyway. Uh, but I'm going to preach two messages. You don't mind that, do you? Amen. You don't mind that, do you? Amen. Let me ask that one more time. You don't mind that, do you? Amen. You know, I don't preach that long anyway, so we're going. Thank you. All right. <laughs> but he said, thank you. He said, preach. So I said, okay. Amen. Genesis, Genesis 25. And again, saints of God, glad to be here. And God has done so much for you and I. Hasn't he done that? We're living in a very confused age. A lot of depression and confusion. And there's a lot of division, isn't there? Oh, yes. Especially in our government. Republicans against the Democrats. This man going to court. This man going to court. They're trying to, <laughs> just, every day is something of division. I want to talk about the love of God. That's what I want to talk about. I'm here about that. And how good God has been to you and to your family. Amen. And to your friends. Amen. Your children. I had a good neighbor next door to me. You've been to church here. Good neighbors. So I want to thank God what he is doing, not what God has not done. Amen. Because God has been good. Amen. If you're healthy this morning, thank God for that. Amen. A lot of people are sick, dear one. I think there was, what, 30,000 botched operations last year here in America. Maybe more than that. Kept some hid. People are, some people want to be here this morning. And their body won't let them. Some people are working. Not here. But I thank God I'm here this morning, dear yeah, one. That's right, that's right. You're here and God has you here. Isn't that something? Yeah. The devil don't want you to come to church. No. How do you know that? There was a book by Mr. Davis done two years ago. 40,000 people have stopped going to church. I said 40,000 have stopped going to church. 40,000 people. That's the devil's work, amen. The Bible says, forsake not the assembly self together. So I'm glad I'm here this morning in God's house, amen. amen. Not this house, this house, praise the Lord. The people of God together. And God wants us to be together, amen. Unity is beautiful. And you know what, dear we need one another. We need one another badly. There's no little eyes that big use in God's church. Well, that's why you don't call me Reverend Dr. Moon. You call me Brother Moon. Yes. And for dinner also, too. <laughs> but no doctor or bishop or monsignor. Just call me Brother Moon. Yes. Amen. Because God loves us all the same amount. Do y'all know that? That's true. That's true. Read on, please. 25 Genesis 25, 29. And Jacob sawed pottage. And Esau came from the field. Yes. And he was faint. He was faint. And Esau said to Jacob. All right. Feed me, I pray thee. Feed me. We're reading Genesis 25, 29. I pray thee. With that same red pottage. With that same red pottage. For I am faint. For I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. Edom. And Jacob said. 
Sell me this day thy birthright. Thy birthright. And Esau said, All right. Behold, I am at the point to die. My, my. And what profit shall this birthright do to me? Yes. And Jacob said, Swear to me this swear day. Swear to me. And he swore unto, unto him. And he sold, and he his, sold birthright his birthright unto Jacob. to Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau Lord, bread, bread and pottage, pottage of lentils, lentils. And he did eat and drink. And drink. And rose, rose up, up and went his way. Thus Esau despised, despised his, his birthright. birthright. In brief this morning, friends, we want to honor your birthright. Amen. Don't despise it or sell it like this man did. And, you know, a birthright is a privilege that's entitled by birth. So when you and I got saved, we got some privileges from God. We got some deliverance from sin. Thank God. We got some joy down in our soul. Amen. Praise the Lord. We went on to perfection. Perfection. Yeah. The Bible said be therefore perfect. God gave us his spirit. Amen. So we got some privileges by being saved. Some blessings. Has not your life been blessed since you've been saved? Amen. Mine sure has. Been wonderful. So when you got saved and said, Lord, forgive me of sin, give up the sin business, I'm sorry, and you repented, you got some privileges. And they're, some, and they're still coming more and more and more. Lamentation said, new mercies, amen, every day. Oh, it's beautiful to be saved. Praise the Lord. Well, this man had a birthright. His father was very rich, and by him being born head of the family, he got certain privileges. But he got hungry. He got fleshly. And at that moment, wanted some food rather than all those privileges. Then one of the reason people give up on God is because they say, it's not working the way I want it to work. Salvation don't work the way they want it, so they just they back up on it. Because it's not working the way I want it to work. Set my fingers and God does not come. Well, he may not. He may not. I admit, it might be a little tough sometime. But, amen, if you let God have his way and have his will, it'll always come out best. Amen. Always. God has never lost a case. So here, saints of God, he no more honored his birthright. It wasn't a big deal anymore. Amen. I mean, the privileges he didn't care about that. He didn't honor it. He didn't have a high regard for it. Dear one, how important is your salvation in God to you this morning? Is it a top priority? Is it a big deal? Does it come first? Listen, many, it was top priority earlier but situations it came down maybe pressure from family it came down maybe stumble and falling it came down maybe they got hungry for the flesh it came down so it wasn't a high priority anymore and it was more easy to let that thing go side note most religious believe that once you're saved, you're always saved. Most of them believe that. I thought about that. I said, now, if I have something that I just can never lose, I'm not going to have a high regard for it. I'm never going to lose it. The something I have that I might lose, I'm going to protect it. I'm going to watch over it. Amen. I'm going to have a high regard for that thing. Dear one, I want God's love, don't you? I want the Bible salvation, don't you? But it's got to be a high priority. It's got to come first, thank God. It comes before family, before friends, before relatives, for our own self. Got to come first. To have a high honor. So when the devil come to, and he's going to come to you sooner or later, for this or that, you'll say, no. I found the road. Send his father the prospects all the sea. Devil, I played the fool once and I'm not going to do it again. So when he comes to you, you'll say no. 
I'm through. I'm done because I'm going to honor my birthright. Brother, you got a birthright. Thank God. Certain privileges. Joy, peace, long-suffering, goodness. That's a privilege. The world don't have that. The world don't own that. And God gave you his joy. Thank God, his peace. That's your privilege. And heaven above all that, praise the Lord. I thought about that. I said, now, heaven. You, know, you, you don't want to forget about heaven, right? Heaven. I said, now, heaven. What, 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 what is it about up there? Not a lot of verses on heaven for the Bible, but it does say it's a paradise. Amen. I thought about Grand Cayman. It's a paradise there. I thought about uh, we, we went to Alaska. It was a paradise. I, I was flying up, amen, in the Brooks Range about an hour flight from SS, USSR. Beautiful. Beautiful. I thought about, amen, when I went to Australia, seeing the Indian Ocean. Beautiful. But that would compare nothing. Nothing to God's heaven. Who's going to be there? My grandmother. Amen. You'll see Isaiah. Sister Green. Annette. Amen. Your mother. Amen. Your sister. Amen. My grandfather. You'll see Elijah. You're going to know what he's going to know who they are. That's Elijah. I know it. That's Jeremiah. I know it. I mean, you'll see the cherubims and the, and the angels all going around. And, and here you are in heaven. Praise the Lord. But you're going to see somebody way, way off. You're going to see somebody who you've been knowing for a long, long time. When you're crying, he was there. When you're sad, he was there. When you're burdened, he was there. When you were confused, he was there. When you were in sin, he come and got you out. You don't know who he is. Praise the Lord. And I'm going to just fall down. <laughs> and I'm going to fall down. Like I'm doing right now. I'm falling down right now. Praise the Lord. Because he's been so good to you and I, hasn't he? So good for so long. My God, help us. Because if it had not been for God, when you was locked up in jail, oh my. Yeah, I've been in jail three times. Not a long time, but one day is too long to be in jail. An addiction. He was there to help me out. Well, praise God. So, dear, we got some privileges. And more than we ever know, he's got more things coming your way. He's got more things coming your way. So don't sell out to the devil, amen. Never yield a step in the hottest fight. Maybe you're in a hot fight right now. Anybody beside me in a hot fight? Don't back up. Don't back up. Just, just stay, just don't back up. Don't go back an inch, amen. Just stand right there and trust God and he will bring you through. So brother, this man sold out to the devil. You know, Jackson, what's his name? Uh, Michael Jackson. He said, without the stage, I am nothing. He said, I'm nothing. And they say he used to go to church as a child. They all heard about that, I'm sure. But some along the line, the devil offered him fame and fortune. Fame and, money. and to be Michael Jackson. But dear one, after you die, those things mean absolutely nothing. 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 What Christ say? You gain the whole world and lose your soul. So, brother, God has better things for you coming. He really does. But don't sell out. Come to church. Like Luther, he's here early. <laughs> Luther here at 7 o'clock in the morning. Coming to church. Sitting in the van waiting for me. Keep on coming to church. Bring your testimony. Praise the Lord. Serve God. Amen. Do your part. The song says, brighten the what? Corner. So do I brighten my corner? God's going to say, Prince, did you do what I call you to do? Forget about people. Did you do what I told you to do? That's the bottom line, brother. And Prince, don't sell out. Don't give up. 
Hold on. Thank God. Let's move on. Matthew 13, 45. Brother Moon, what should be our attitude when we're talking about honoring the birthright? You know, giving a special attention, a high regard, being careful. What should be my attitude toward it? Read on, please. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man yes. seeking goodly pearls. Goodly pearls. Who, when he had found, he one, had pearl found one pearl of great price, great price, went and sold all that he had yes. and bought it. Read on. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net yes. that was cast into the sea All right. and gathered of every kind. Every kind. Which, when which it was full, full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away. Yes, yes. So shall it be at the end of the world. Oh, my. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Notice 45 again. The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant man seeking goodly pearls, who, when we he has found what? One, one, one pearl, pearl of great, of great price. price. What did he do? And sold all, sold all that he, he had. Sold out. He sold out. He, he, he sold out everything that he had to get some more what he needed. They were actually to sell out because, see, Esau didn't know the value of it. That's right. That's he didn't know what it was really worth. That's right. And the That's devil true. tricked him. That's true. Yeah, he got a bowl of uh, venison maybe and a few onions. But what is that to a birthright? That's true. That's true. That's no comparison. But he got tricked. The devil loves to trick people. Do you all know that? He's a trickster and a liar. Yes. Yes, and he sir. tricks people out of what is valuable. Yes. Demon salvation is valuable. Yes. Nothing is more important. And you got to know that because it's wonderful. The longer you're saved, the, it's, it's, it gets better and better and better. Yes. Not always easy, but it's easier serving God than serving the devil. Uh, you understand that? The way of the transgressor is hard. So these men sold out because they knew the value of that birthright. You know, there was one preacher. In fact, there were seven of them who went to uh, South America with the Alca Indians. Nate Saint was a pilot. Others went. And they knew that the people there were hostile. They were ignorant. They didn't know who these people were, you know, coming. So all seven of those, they were in their 20s. All of them got the spear. All of them died right on the spot in that Alka Indian area. But then the tribe got saved and they went on to be saved for years and years and years. But the men said, look, we know we're risking our lives, but it's so important that we're saved, and we want to see those men saved. So I do what I got, I'm going to sell all the way out and do this thing. And of course, those Moravian boys, they were 19 years old. They went to Jamaica. Young boys. But they, they said, look, this thing is important, man. It's, it's, it's serious. So they, of course, they were, they were in slavery, the Jamaicans. These guys sold themselves in slavery on to the highest bidder to be a slave, to be able to work among the people enslaved. They said, isn't the Lamb of God worth my sacrifice? And they waved to their people, never see him again in life. They want, amen, we want to honor this birthright. This thing is so very precious. Brother, you can't put a price on it. You can buy a car. You can buy a house. You can buy a bank. You can buy a Corvette. You can buy friends. You can buy a wife, but you can't buy heaven. Amen. You can't buy that. That is a gift of God. So since God gave you that gift, hold on to it. The devil wants to get it. He's trying to grab it from you. Grab it from you. 
He want to blind you or hold your ears. Or, no, no. Amen. Lose him. Thank God and let him go. Oh, I want to honor this birthright. Because what it's done for me and what it's done for you. Before you met God, you were there. And now you met God, you're here. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, yes, brother. It was been an uphill, wonderful climb since the day I got saved. Let's move on, please. First Peter chapter one, verse. I'm sorry. Second Peter one, four. Second Peter one and four. Second Peter one, four. Read on, please. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. All right. That by these you might be partakers of the divine nature. <laughs> Lord, have having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Y'all find that verse yet? Yeah. All right. It says, read again, please, verse four, if you would. Whereby are given seemingly promises, uh-huh. That by these yes. we might be partakers of the divine nature. Lord have mercy. Having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Oh, there's so much there. So he saves you. And that is a privilege. There's benefits. But he went on to purify your heart by faith. Amen. To give you a divine what nature? But divine, isn't that something? It's that, that, that's, that's, you can, I can hardly comprehend that. I know about the Adam nature. I was born with that. And that's why I curse, lie, cheat, and steal. And I'm not by myself this morning either. That's why we did that. It was in our what nature? That's right. That's right. I've told you before so many times, I'll say it again for discussion's sake. My neighbor, uh, he has dogs. You know about that. I saw him at Piggly Wiggly. He said, Brother Moon, I got a dog that had puppies. I got five more now. So he's got about 16 of them, approximately. He got them big, small, all colors. And it smells in my house, doesn't it? Y'all been there. When the, when the wind blows, we smell like, everybody smells like dogs, if you live around there. And so, amen, they, but, and he said, well, Brother Moon, this one won't bite. Then when all dogs bite. Ch Ch Chihuahuas, what are they called? Uh, Chihuahuas. Chihuahuas bite, yeah. bulldogs bite, yeah. German shepherds bite, yeah. and you got some men bite too, amen. They got dog in them. <laughs> but the point is, they all, because of their nature, that's right, that's right. They are taught by their nature. That's right. It comes natural. Dogs are going to bite. Yeah. Period. Yeah. On the other hand, this side of the place, they got cats, and they're all around this side of the yard. But it's good because they chase away the mice. Amen. But if I put that cat nature in the dog nature, how will the dog act? Like a cat. It'll be natural. He'll be meowing. He'll crave fish. You'll see him up on top of your car. They'd be on top of my car, them cats. They want to see a high point. Why? Why'd they go up high? Grab me. <laughs> <Grabbed> me. <laughs> They're looking for what? They're looking for mice. And so they want to look down. They're up on the car. So they have it, and then nature teaches that to them. They have a cat nature, a dog nature, and an adamic nature. We were born what? In sin. We had to taught to do right. So not wrong. That's the truth. That's true. We know what wrong is all about. Oh, yeah. And we did it as a child. That's right. Where, where's my money in my purse? Mama, I do not know. <laughs> I don't know. And it, it's in your hand. You got it in your hand. Mama, I, I just don't know. It's probably so-and-so. You know, he, he did that last time. Just lie. Yeah. And it's what? N yeah. Natural. It's true. Yes, it's right. natural. That's right. Well... God had mercy on us. Thank God. He takes away that Adamic nature and gives you and I a divine, divine nature. Oh You're not going to hardly understand this is so deep. So the nature I have now has a focus on God. That's right. What I read That's right. is of the divine nature. When I go to my internet, yes. divine nature. Right, 
when I'm at the mall looking around and see a woman, divine nature. Because my nature dictates my appetite, what I'm looking at, how I dress, because that's my nature. And dear one, that is part of the benefits of being saved. That is the, amen, that is the, 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 the blessing that we give being saved. That is the privileges of it. Yes. And this man gave it away. Gave all that away all that for, way. now, side note. You ever uh, went to a car dealer to have your used car put toward another car? Yes. Trade trade. Uh, thank you. He will always give you less than it's worth. Oh, yes, and yes, yes, yes. Always. That's the devil. The devil will always give you less than what you have. He will give you less than what you have. But God will give you more than what you have. Praise the Lord. He came to give life and that what more what? Abundantly. So let's move on. Next verse, please. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14. Yes, I want to honor this birthright. It may not work well I want it to work, but it's still working. Amen. It's still working. In fact, the Bible says that 828 Romans, am I right? All things work together for good. Amen. Well, it may not seem like it. Let's be honest. Some things you wonder, wow, Amen. wow, mm. wow. Some things, brother, can blindside you. Almost shock you. And you begin to wonder, now how is this going to fit in there and good? But then when God will work that out, the Bible says all things work together for what? So that's it. And you look around and it starts to work out for you, doesn't it? Do you wonder how many things has God worked out for you and I in the past five years? How many things has God worked out? Oh, my. I remember years ago, people left the church and took their money with them. Amen. Yeah. Took their tithes with them. Yeah. I was concerned. So I went back to work just to make sure. And a guy called and said, uh, Brother Moon, he said, I want to give you a house. I said, yeah, right. Okay. I said, thank you. Appreciate you. He gave me the deed. The key. My Lord. My Lord. Section 8 approved. Yes, sir. Air conditioned. I put 60 bucks to get the car, to get the carpet clean, right next door. So a house dropped in our lap, praise the Lord. Dude, I never would have thought that, but that's how God works. You said there ain't no way, God will make a way, do you all know that? God will make a way. Oh, there's no way, I'll make a way. See, that's what God does, he makes a way out of no way, praise the Lord. Thank God he does that. He, he makes a way out of no way. Jericho's walls. 75 foot tall approximately, maybe six foot wide. What are we going to do? No problem. Go around seven times. We're going to drop the wall. You can go in. Wow. And the wall dropped. My God, help us. My God. Israelites, Pharaoh's, Pharaoh in the back, Red Sea in the front. What do we do? What do we do? Don't worry about it. I'm open the Red Sea, uh -huh. and you'll walk through dry land. My God. Oh, my God. Oh, the wonders of God. Amen. Yes, sir. My, my, my. Read on, please. Hebrews 12, 14. Follow peace with all Father, men help us this morning. and holiness, yes. without which no man shall see the Lord. Comma. I'm sorry to interrupt you. He gave us holiness. Holiness. He gave us the option if we want to be holy. He said that. Be holy for what? I am holy. He said that. Now, if I'm holy, I'm not in sin at the same time. I can't do it like that. I can't be holy and sinful or sinful and holy. I got to be holy or sinful. I can't do both. But the privilege of being holy, to live a life without sin. Well, Brother Moon, men have to sin. It's a choice. We choose that. And if I gave you $100 for you to name me a sin you must commit, you couldn't do it. I've done that in Australia, Alaska, I came around all the places, been to seven countries. I asked that question for 25 years. No one is able to answer that question because there is no sin you have to commit. 
But you know that, don't you? Sin is a choice. But we have a choice. We were in sin. We had to do it. But now we got a choice. Praise the Lord. I have a choice. You have a choice. So I can't blame this man or that man or the way she's dressed or what he said. I can't blame them because I have a choice. Thank God. The power of God gives me a choice to choose how I want to think. I said, how you want to think? Your attitude? And say, you control a lot of, I think you control how you feel sometimes. You all know that. Because see, if I control the thought, I control how I feel. The Bible says, cast down imagination in every high thing. First Peter 1, 4. Think on these things. What sort of things are just? That's my favorite verse now in the past year. Then we try to mess your mind up on yes, thoughts and feelings. Yes, yes, so to yes. combat that, I got a privilege. Yes. What is it? The Bible says, think on these things. Whatsoever things are honest, just, pure, true, lovely, think on these things. Second Peter 1 10, and you shall never, if you never fall, thank God. That's a privilege. And I'm going to sell that away to the devil? No, sir. Uh-uh. It's too good. Praise the Lord. And I mean that, saints of God. Hey, I can live holy in this unholy world. I can think good thoughts at night. So true. Amen. Things that are lovely and, and pure. I can then go off to sleep, go to bed saved, and get up saved. Amen. Hebrews 12, 14. Read on, please. Follow peace with all men. I'm reading Hebrews 12, 14. Follow peace. With all men. With all men. And holiness. And holiness. Without which yes. no man shall see the Lord. Read on, please. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God. Looking what? Diligently. Yeah, diligent. And that is what Esau did not do. He was not diligent. It was not a high priority anymore. It wasn't a big deal. Read, looking diligently. Read on. Lest any man fail of the grace of God. Oh, my. Lest any root of bitterness yes. springing up Spring trouble up. you, yes. and thereby many be defiled. Be defiled. Read on, please. Lest there be any fornicator, fornicator. or profane person, profane person as Esau, Esau, who for one morsel of oh, meat dear. sold his birthright. So here we are. For one morsel of meat, his dad might have had maybe uh, 4,000 sheep. Wow, my Lord, my Lord. Maybe 500 oxen. But for one morsel of meat, he did what? Sold his birthright. Read on. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, Mercy. though he sought it carefully with tears. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? He, he sold out and tried to get it back. No place. But it was too late. He was crying and pleading and begging. Dude, and that's why, brother. Dude, I'm just here tonight. I'm, I'm here today. Whatever you got, hold on to it. That's true. Oh, I'm telling you. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. Whatever God gives you, hold on to it. Because you may not get it back. That's right. Because God, he got to give it back to you. That's right. So whatever God's giving you, if it's joy, you better hold on to it. Yes, yes. Peace, hold on to it. Deliverance, hold on to it. May not get it back. And, and very, very few get it back. Very few. David got it back. Oh, did he? Yes, he did. My Lord. Yes, but he also had a sword that was for the rest That's of his life. True. That's true. That's so he wrote the Psalm 23, yes, but he had a sword for the rest of his life. My God. He let Bathsheba alone would have been all right. But now the sword told him, should never depart. His children were fighting. A major war broke out. So whatever God give you, I pray that you hold on to it. Keep it as a high priority. They got a thing called uh, Fort Knox. Amen. Can't get in or out. It's a high priority. You know that uh, diamond that they have. What is her name? She died. Elizabeth Taylor had a diamond. Yes. Hope diamond. Here's Hope diamond. Yes. She had that. And to view it, 
cost about three grand. You got to get eight or nine police, give them maybe half a day uh, notice to even, to even look at it. High priority. Do you wonder how important is our service to God? Is, 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 is it important? And how important is he to you and I? Read that last part again, please, if you would. Verse 17. Yes, ma'am. For ye know how that afterward, yes. when he would have inherited the blessing, All right. he was rejected. Yes. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. Saints of God, hold on. First Samuel 20, verse 3. Hold on. Hold on. Temptations are going to come. Hold on. Yes. Disappointed? Yes. Hold on. Heartbroken? Hold on. Yes. Destitute? Hold on. Loneliness? Hold on. Rebuked or whatever? Hold on. Because it's, it's, worth, it's worth it. Yes. 